Hello everyone, I'm Malcolm from A1 Australia Education Group, Australia's number one institute for PT, IELTS and NATI coaching. In the last three years alone, we have trained successfully more than 25,000 students and helped them clearing their PT, NATI and IELTS examinations. For NATI, we provide online coaching in seven languages which include Punjabi, Gujarati, Hindi, Telugu, Malayalam, Sinhali and Spanish. For IELTS and PT, we offer online coaching across the world. Friends, this is not a promotional video. This is not a sponsored video. I just have one request for you. If you like the content in today's video, just like us, share our videos with your friends and do make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Now let's start. Well, today's video is just mainly to help you understand six simple tips to pass your PT in your first attempt. I myself have trained more than 30,000 students approximately in the last seven years in clearing just their PD test. So believe me when I say it, I mean it and it will help you out. Well, come to the first tip. All of you who don't know, well, in the real exam, speaking is performed in an environment where a lot of people will be around you and everybody will be speaking in a very loud voice. So the first tip, most important tip is Whenever you practice speaking and wherever you practice speaking at home or in a noisy place, make sure that you have some noisy atmosphere around you. A very simple way to do this is keep your TV on or maybe just open YouTube and put a documentary on or some music on in the background so that your brain get you, gets used to it. If you can manage to perform well in speaking in a noisy environment, in the test it will be very easy for you. This is the biggest problem which a lot of people face that when they take PT for the first time, you are wearing headphones and then suddenly you will hear people around you screaming at very loud voices. So make sure you practice in such an environment and mentally you are ready and you anticipate disturbance in the real test center. My second tip is about time management in the reading section. Well, in PT reading, there are five tasks. The first task is reading and writing fill in the blanks, which are popularly known as drop down fill in the blanks. The second task is multiple choice choose multiple answers. The third task is reorder paragraphs. The fourth task is reading fill in the blanks, which are popularly known as drag and drop blanks. And the fifth and the last task in the reading section, it's multiple choice choose single answers. Approximately you'll get 14 to 16 questions which you are expected to solve in approximately 25 to 30 minutes. You will have an overall timer in reading. Now the first thing which I said for the reading section is time management. What it means is that you have to be very precise with your answers in two main tasks. The most important task would be reading and writing fill in the blanks which is the first task in the reading section. And the second most important task will be the fourth task in the reading section, which is reading fill in the blanks. Most of the times I've seen amongst my students that those students who are good at fill in the blanks automatically get a very high score like 79 each or 65 each on their first PT test attempt. Spend the maximum time on reading and writing blanks per question, depending on the difficulty level of the question, you can easily take two to two and a half minutes. And similarly, for the fourth task, which is reading blanks or drag and drop blanks, again, depending on the difficulty of the question and the length of the passage, you can take approximately one to one and a half minutes or maybe two minutes per question. These two tasks have the maximum contribution to reading and writing and reading scores respectively. After that, the third task in the weight or proportion of marks is reorder paragraphs. Generally, you will get two to three questions for reorder paragraphs. Per question, you can take two to two and a half minutes, depending on the complexity of the question. Now coming to the third tip, and that is about 
all tasks related to listening. I have seen a lot of students who are not from an English speaking background and particularly from vernacular background, backgrounds of speaking like Gujarati, Hindi, Sinhalese, Spanish or even Chinese. Many times they have issues with listening because from a very young age they have never spoken or they have never seen English shows, English news, English movies or English songs. Now that deficit cannot be solved immediately, right? Because obviously listening is a very crucial component which will be tested in any test of English. So how to improve your listening skills and particularly for the PT test? I have two very simple suggestions for you. First, you can go to our website which is oneaustraliagroup.com and you can take uh, access of our portal. It's a paid portal which has around 5000 practice exam questions just like the real exam where you have listening questions of different audio sets and different accents, right? So that will be very helpful for you. You can also buy paid mock tests or sectional mock tests just for listening if that helps you. <clears throat> the other very useful and free source for practicing listening, it's a website called The Scientific American where you have a lot of different audio tracks called One Minute English, right? So that is also very helpful. Just remember the name, The Scientific American. Fourth, how to improve your typing speed. Now, this particular tip, which is the fourth tip in this video, is mainly to help you improve with your typing speed. Well, the easiest way is the use of templates. Template means a fixed structure or a fixed answer which you can use for all types of questions. For example, I have made a template for write essay in which you don't have to use your brain at all. From the first sentence to the last sentence, you use my template. Just fit the topic sentence and the introduction and the conclusion and I guarantee you, you will get full marks in the essay. There are so many institutes in the world which have copied my template, just tweaked it a bit and they use it. You can also use it, you know. The other two tasks which can help you with you use a template could be summarize written text and summarize spoken text. Now it is an altogether different question if templates will help you or not. In my opinion, they surely do. Even without using a template, I've got 90 each in PT. Even with using a template, I've got 90 each. So if you are naturally good at your English, then don't use a template, right? But if you think that a template will help you, practice writing or typing templates, right? A lot of people have a habit of writing it on their book or on the sheet. Now guys, in the real exam, you are supposed to type. You don't have to write. So please, just buy a good keyboard. You can get it from Officeworks or any shop, you know, for $10 or so. A Logitech keyboard also you can get, a good one with clickable keys, you know, like tick, tick, tick those keys. So in the real exam, you have hard keys. Now coming to the time management aspect of it. For the task of write essay in the real exam, you will get 20 minutes. You will always get one essay question in the real exam. Put a timer of just 14 minutes, okay? You can also put a shorter duration timer of let's say 10 or 12 minutes if you improve your typing speed, if you memorize the template well. But 14 minutes should be the maximum time in which you must be able to finish the template start to end. In the remaining six minutes, you must just sit and check your template word by word. If you make more than two spelling mistakes, you will lose a lot of points. And believe me, the task of write essay is more like a free task. It's a bonus task. If you don't make mistakes, guaranteed you'll get those nine to 10 points out of 90 in your writing score. It's a very simple task. Similarly, for tasks like summarize written text, which is the first task of writing, and summarize spoken text, which is the first task of listening, you get 10 minutes per question. In the real exam, as per the official PT score guide, you can get either one or two questions for both of these tasks. That means 10 minutes to 20 minutes, depending whether you get one or two questions. My recommendation, put a timer of seven minutes max. For summarized written text, your answer should be a single sentence of five to 75 words. Ideal word limit could be anywhere between 35 to 70 words in my opinion, but it can vary, doesn't matter. Maximum time, seven minutes, right? Why do you need to keep remaining three minutes? To check your answers for spelling, typing, punctuation and grammar. 
a lot of times people are very good at expressing the task in their own words also you know but they make silly mistakes of spelling for example let's say the word is whole w h o l e but by mistake i write w o h l e one small mistake i lose a lot of points in writing what is the point right it's a waste of time waste of efforts so please Secondly, even in summarized spoken text, where you listen to the audio and you type your answer, your answer should be maximum 70, 70 words and minimum 50, 50 words. Your answer should not be a single sentence, it should be multiple sentences with multiple full stops. Please make a habit of writing your answer in 7 minutes maximum. You can follow a template, you can also write the same sentences which are in the audio if you are expecting a high score in content, both things will work, right? Make sure you follow time management as I'm suggesting you. It will really help you and always practice by typing. Don't take notes. Type. The fifth very important tip is mainly showing and explaining and telling you which tasks are really important, whether you're looking for eight each, seven each, six each. See, there are certain basic tasks which are very fundamental, just not for PT, but in the to process English as a language, right? Those tasks are generally integrated tasks. Integrated means what? You are focusing on two skills at the same time. Two senses are being used at the same time. The most important tasks which will fetch you a lot of points are repeat sentence in speaking, where you have to listen to a sentence and repeat it exactly as you hear it, and write from dictation in listening, where you listen to a sentence, but you have to type it. In the first task of repeat sentence, you get marks for listening and speaking. And in the second task of write from dictation, you get marks for listening and writing. Please make a schedule and follow it strictly. What I would suggest for repeat sentence is at least three times a day, dedicate 10 minutes to practice this task. In 10 minutes, try to practice around 30 to 40 sentences non-stop without checking the answers. This is a very important tip guys, please remember whenever you practice repeat sentence from my website, from any source, any website doesn't matter, make sure that you don't check the answers. Even on our YouTube channel, we regularly upload repeat sentences, 100 most important, right from dictations, very soon new tasks will also be added. Make sure you don't check the answers, especially for repeat sentence. For example, you listen, you repeat go to the next one, listen, repeat next, because in the real exam, you cannot check the answers. So train your brain according to what will happen in the real exam. For right from dictation, the best time to practice this is late evenings or night, right? Why? Because in the real exam, right from dictation is the last task. So you have to train your brain that you practice right from dictation mainly before you sleep. My suggestion is to practice 30 to 40 sentences every day. Do 10 sentences and then check the answers. Don't check every single answer, guys. That is not going to help you. Do 10, check 10. Do 10, check 10. Now, how to check your answers? Every smart person who gets success in life knows which are the mistakes and how to not make those mistakes. Okay? So, you have to be very thorough in analyzing your mistakes. Are you missing the articles? Articles are words like A and R. Are you mis making mistakes of missing ES, ED at the end, so end of the words? Are you making spelling mistakes? Are you replacing in with on, which are prepositions, right? Off with for. Now, right from dictation gives a lot of marks to listening and writing. Approximately, let's say, 24 to 30 points. Approximately, I'm saying, in listening and writing both. So, you have to make sure what your mistakes are. You have to analyze those mistakes and understand the pattern of those mistakes. As I said, every smart man will not repeat those mistakes. It's completely fine to make mistakes. We are all human. I can also make mistakes. You will also make mistakes. The main thing is to learn from those mistakes and not repeat them again. Okay? Very important tip. Now, the last and final sixth tip. Discipline and mock tests. First, let me talk about discipline. The people who are most successful in cracking competitive exams are those people who are not necessarily very intelligent, not necessarily very smart, but are people who are very disciplined and know how to manage their time smartly. That's the success to cracking all competitive exams. Peace of mind comes with discipline. If you are disciplined with your practice, there is no need to worry, right? 
So make sure that you keep a timetable ready with you and you strictly follow your timetable. Another thing about discipline is follow only one tutor. You know, in Sanskrit or in Gujarati or Hindi, that word is guru. So follow what your guru says. There is a lot of material available on the internet, right? Thousands of websites, thousands of YouTube channels. Make sure you are smart in choosing that one person who is going to be your guru and guide you in your journey towards clearing your PTE. Coming to the second very important thing is mock tests. Now a lot of people think that if I take 30 or 40 mock tests before my exam, I will clear the test. You may be right, but not necessarily always right. What is important with mock tests is you need somebody to check those mock tests and give you proper feedback. That is the first thing. Second very important suggestion for mock test is whichever portal or whichever website you use for mock test, whether it's my website or any website, see, please understand one thing. The artificial intelligence with all these portals use, it is not going to be 100% accurate, right? We are all trying our best. All institutes want the good of their students. Nobody wants bad. But it will not be exactly the same as the actual peers and software. So what I'm trying to say is, if you get a low score in the mock test, don't feel disheartened. If you get a very high score in your mock test, there is nothing to be very elated about it. Keep a neutral sense of mind, you know, like a monk, like a Zen thinking of life. It's okay. Whatever score you get, it's fine. Focus on the evaluation you get from your tutor. That is the main thing. Another very important suggestion for mock tests is always try to take the mock test at the same time at which you have booked your actual exam. For example, let's say I have my test after one week on a Sunday or a Monday at 12 p.m. in the afternoon. I must try to take the mock test in the previous two weeks at or around 12 p.m. in the afternoon. If I take the mock test at 7 p.m. in the evening and my actual exam is at 12 p.m., you know the brain gets a bit confused. If you want your brain to be in that zone to crack the test, just take the mock test at the same time as the actual exam. Believe me, that will really help your brain to be in sync at the time of the actual test with your thoughts. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. I provided six very simple yet effective tips of how you can clear your PT on your first attempt. Again, I would request you, if you like the content of this video, just click the subscribe button, hit the like button as well and share it with your friends. I can speak in Hindi and Gujarati as well, very well. I'm basically from India. And if you want me to make such videos or any other videos, just mention it in the comments section. Also mention how you found this video, if you liked it, did not like it. Just be honest and tell me and I'll make sure that we come up with new such videos which are really helpful and will assist you in clearing your PT in the first attempt. We provide online coaching across the world for PT, IELTS and NATI. Just visit our website oneaustraliagroup.com or also you can contact us through call or WhatsApp on plus six one four six six four six 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 zero three or plus six one four six six four six 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 zero nine. If you are in Melbourne, Australia, we have the biggest PT practice classroom and lab in Victoria and Australia. Make sure you visit us. I'm Malcolm and I'll see you all soon. Thank you so much for viewing this video. Thank you. Ha ha ha!